Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking all about some things to avoid when trying to find a therapist. Yes, we're all in different parts of our journey. Maybe you're like, I'm never gonna go to see a therapist, but I'm just curious. Maybe you have tried a therapist out and it really didn't work out. Or maybe you're like, I'm ready to jump in that seat and I wanna know what to avoid. Well, wherever you are in that journey, I definitely wanted to provide some tips that maybe you can use or hopefully that you can avoid when you're starting out this journey of finding a therapist. Now, if you want to find out about these tips, and more tips on mental health and just self-care and self-worth, then I definitely wanna encourage you to hit the subscribe button so that you never miss a video. I'm Rashonda Carey and I'm a licensed therapist. Now that we've gotten that out the way, let's talk about these things to avoid. Wait, I totally forgot to talk about the therapeutic process. I want to also just side note this in is that the process can be sometimes discouraging, sometimes draining when you're trying to find that good match. But I want to also just share that it is a process just like anything when you're trying to grow, when you're trying to improve or get better. It's a process. So don't rush it. Be kind to yourself and definitely use these tips that we're going to talk about right now. The first thing to avoid is not asking questions. You cannot be afraid to ask questions. It's like the dating process. You don't want to find out three months, four months in that this person had no experience working with what you're struggling with. That's not the right time because then you're frustrated, money has been spent, and one thing you can't give back is time. Some questions that you might ask is, how experienced are you with working with my issue? Are you more of a short-term person or more of a long-term person? Do we come up with a plan together? Are you a person who asks a question and let me just ramble? Or do you also add in some input? The next thing to avoid is committing early. Yeah, that's what I said. I have had people come in, meet me one time, and I've never seen them again. And you know what? I'm okay with that because it's important to find the person for you. My personality may not fit everybody, and that is okay. Make sure that you are trying out multiple therapists because everybody comes from a different school of thought, have different personalities, have different time frames. And so if you're wanting to, like I said, get the benefits of therapy, you want to make sure that you sampled a little bit around before you like, okay, I want you. <laughs> The next one is prioritizing convenience, such as time frame and cost versus quality. I'm so thankful and happy that insurance companies are doing much better with mental health. So a lot of therapists are being paneled where someone can just go in network and find a good amount of therapists. What I always wanted was to find a black lady therapist in network, but I guess I dream too big. But do not just commit to a therapist because they are on your insurance and they can fit your time frame. You want to also look for quality because you can't get that time back, as I said. And you don't want to be six months down and be like, oh my gosh, I just sat right here. I kind of was hesitant. I didn't feel like they were giving me the best, but I stayed because it was what was convenient. See that word, convenient? So I encourage you that maybe you need to go outside of your five mile, 10 mile radius to find somebody of higher quality. Look at the reviews. Again, go back to asking those questions. Most important that you're getting somebody that you can vibe with and feel comfortable. The next one may not happen too often. I have been recommended by people and I'm always thankful for that. But please do not assume just because Someone else enjoys that therapist that if you go there, you're going to have the same mind blowing, earth shattering experience. Don't do that. Just because somebody recommends, make sure you're trying them out, making sure you're going through the steps. Your friend might have similar issues, but y'all didn't have the same upbringing, the same childhood. Da da da. Y'all are different people. So make sure that you're taking into a recommendation that this therapist is good, but make sure you find out for yourself and that you don't just put all your eggs in that basket and say, you know what, it worked for you, it didn't work for me, so therefore therapy doesn't work for me. No, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> your own experience, your own time, your own story, and your own process. And the last thing to avoid is not following your instincts. You are the expert of yourself. Maybe you need an outside person to have some clarity, to push yourself, to ask some questions for you to become a little bit more knowledgeable and have more insight about who you are, but trust yourself. Don't let guilt, shame, fear drive you to stay with a therapist or to commit to a therapist. That's not it. I love having the conversations where somebody is, you know, just like, 
hey, I feel like we've gone as far as we could. I'm going to take a break. I might try out somebody new. I'm like, good. Like, I seriously am like good because that means that what we've been working on, you using your voice, advocating for yourself and not allowing negative emotions to dictate your happiness or to dictate what you need. So with that being said, trust yourself. And that's not only really in a therapy process, that's just in life in general. Trust yourself. And if you can't trust yourself, learn to trust yourself and do what you need to do to get to a place where you're like, okay, I'm making good decisions. All in all, finding a good therapist is like finding a new relationship and a healthy one at that. So you wanna make sure you don't avoid all those things that I talked about. You wanna make sure that you have a person who can find clarity, have your best interests at art, and have experience with what you're dealing with. It is any type of commitment. You can have an exit plan, so don't feel like it's a lifelong commitment. Last disclaimer, just because you avoid all these things does not mean that it's a guarantee that you're gonna find the perfect therapist. That's not the guarantee, but these things will help you on your journey. Okay. Now let's close. <laughs> if you found this video helpful, then definitely don't forget to give the like button. Don't forget to share this video. Go over to Instagram at Rashonda.carry and follow me over there. And as always, I'm wishing you the best on your journey. Bye.